Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to another Eve talk. Now with all the patching that has been going on last week and with my purchase of Anno 2070 that I've been trying to get my head around, it's a pretty complex game. I haven't had that much time to play Eve Online. Uh, still I managed to gather uh, some goods that I want to sell. So let's have a quick look. Most of it is planetary interaction stuff, polytextile, nanites, coolants and test cultures. Um, I also have a few minerals just to check out what the market is doing there. And some oxygen isotopes. This is actually some ice mining stuff that I transported from Solitude uh, over to Yona through a wormhole. So I managed to, to get a bit extra in the cargo hold. And then uh, finally some data cores. Uh, there's 992 of them. That's a pretty big amount because I haven't uh, gone to the, um, to the research agents in quite a while. So let's let's have a, a look first at the planetary interaction stuff, which um, from the February numbers, economic numbers uh, that were released on the dev blog, should show um, a slight uh, decrease in price. So let's have a quick look at the price history. Let me just make this graph a bit bigger here. Uh, well, I can I can see a rise on three months. Uh, it was a month, one month. Uh, Polytexta uh, is pretty much stable maybe even a small rise so that's that's actually not um, not a bad one for me to be producing uh, let's just take immediate and sell it let's have a look at the nanites here um, also a rise so yep still seems to be um, <clears throat> a good choice for me 30 million there not bad uh, the coolants, that's a post fuel, so that one might be a bit more interesting. Yeah, here we can see this downward uh, trend that was talked about. This one has clearly gone down. Um, 8,750 to 7,750. That's that's a definitely a, a, a lower price uh, over the course of a single month. Uh, let's have a quick look. 7,750. So I'll sell that immediately as well. 10 million. And then test cultures. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, that's the same trend that's quite uh, downward quite a lot it's uh, the same tier as coolants but it sells for about half the price so I'll get rid of these as well get four million extra and oh, I also have construction blocks on my fifth planet uh, same trend again seven oh, over seven thousand to just over six thousand so that's one seventh uh, drop in prices here so it, it's not for all the um, all the planetary interaction stuff but definitely a lot of them are on a downward trend um, and uh, there's a few rare ones uh, that uh, that seem to still be holding up uh, next part let's take a look at the mineral market i have some excellent titanium and pyrite which are like the most common high sec ores i'll just start off with the titanium uh, well it's not a, a that clear graph but still a rise over 450 let's have a look at the market data for the sellers let's quickly go to in station 487 buyers 479 so well i have to say that um that uh, tritanium certainly has still been rising and uh, not what i would have expected let's have a look at the chart for mixalon that's pretty stable but still up um sell uh, buyers 52 23 uh, you know that's still uh, a rise but not by that much so let's quickly get rid of these as well and in pyrite i don't think that i've uh, taken these before but i have a decent stock of them now and whoa that's gone up pretty good too from 5 to around 525 and they even sell at 561 here right yep 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 but uh, I don't think, well, no, I don't have that many of them. So that'll be everything. So yeah, the mineral market's still doing pretty strongly. And that puts me at over 8 billion. That's a nice, uh, nice number. I like it. I consider to have like 3 billion spending money. I would say considering the rest of my assets, I'm probably 30 to 40% in assets and uh, around uh, 60 to 70 in, uh, in ISK. Um, I actually have some plans in the medium turn for some um, 
some more expensive stuff but I'm not ready to divulge them yet so that's why I still have this amount of isk uh, but if I, I didn't have these plants I, I would probably uh, try to keep my wallet uh, as low as like 5 billion something like that and uh, invest the, the 3 billion in either Plex or, or a few uh, nice faction ships or whatever I think that uh, might have a potential to maintain its value while we're seeing this inflation um, I'll quickly have a look at the oxygen isotopes um upward trend let's have a look at uh, like a six month chart yeah here we can see the effect of the ice interdiction by uh, by the goons uh, up to 1400 then a drop back as low as uh, 600 so yeah that was some excellent market manipulation there uh, by the goons i mean anyone that has been able to buy below 600 and sell at like uh, 1200 to 1400 has made uh, like double the price uh, for uh, for well the cost of some uh, some ganking so which is what they enjoy anyways so uh, it's it's on an upward trend again I'm going to leave it here for now I think uh, we might see some more uh, some some uh, a better price at uh, some point in the future there's no hurry to sell it either and here are the data cores six month chart uh, definitely downward let's have a quick look at the one month chart well, there's quite some movements uh, like 10,000 isk over uh, on a price of around 200,000 but it's up and down a little bit so no clear trend trend however um, I'm not going to sell at the moment and that is because I something that I just read on the, on the EVE Online website concerning faction warfare and that is that they plan to incorporate the um, the data course uh, into a faction warfare mechanic um, I have to think about this, uh, what this could mean for the prices of data cores, whether or not uh, this, this could mean a rise in prices or not. So I'm going to wait this one out as well for now. Um, pretty interesting times, uh, we're still seeing like inflation and rising mineral prices uh, despite the fact that I expected them to start dropping uh, before the summer. Um, uh, FanFest is going on at the moment, but still quite a lot of activity, there's quite a lot of news. So I think that um, the upcoming weeks are going to be very interesting uh, if you're planning to speculate in, in the future. Um, definitely keep an eye out on all the information, you might find some, uh, some goods to pick up that you'll be able to sell for a, for a very nice profit over the summer. I'm sure that I'll be doing that, but I won't uh, give away all my trade secrets uh, on the YouTube channel before I get uh, to my profits, to be honest. So anyway, a uh, quick uh, trade update um, for this EVE talk. Uh, I'll see you all next time.